In the Basha Bayechi, the Torah records the brachas that were given by Yaakov to his children. These brachas are unquestionably prophetic in nature, more or less defined each Shevet <coughs> in terms of their character traits, in terms of their future. And at the end, the Torah summarizes it in Perak Memtes, Pasuk Havches. Kolei Shita Yisrael Shnei Masar, there are 12 Shvatim, this is what their father told them and blessed them. Ish asher berach osam. Each one in accordance with the bracha that was obviously fitting for them. As Rashi says, The bracha that in the future would in effect be implemented vis-a-vis each one. Rashi then is troubled by the Lashen Rabbim. Isha Sheki Bichasa Berach Osam, he blessed them. Rashi said, it should have said, Isha Sheki Bichasa Berach Osam. Matam Oloma Berach Osam. So Rashi said, because each one was given a very specific trait. Yehuda was given the Gvura of the Ari, the strength of the lion. Binyamin Chatifasa Shalzei, the ability of a wolf to grab. The Naftali Kabusa Shayola. Naftali, of course, is swift. I would have thought that they're not included in all the other brachas. So, in effect, what Rashi is saying, they not only have their individual features, but they also have the Kulaliyastika brachas that were given to all of them. There are two factors that are involved in a person's character. As the Pasuk says, Ish Asher Kibichaso. And then it says, Barach Osam. The Pasuk seems to indicate a kind of dialectic. And I believe this is what Rashi is trying to teach us. Namely, each individual has his own personality, has his own attributes, his own destiny. Clearly, each individual is distinctive, is unique. Kishem shovin, On the other hand, each individual has to see himself as part of Klav Yisrael, as part of the larger community. The Archaim HaKadosh here explains that Yaakov Avinu blessed his children, each one according to their particular character traits. In the days of the French Revolution, many of the philosophers of that period of time, including Voltaire and Diderot and Rousseau, they were of the opinion that all men are born equal. Each one has a tabula rasa, as Dewey said, a kind of blank page. And this is a kind of deterministic psychology that they expounded. And modern psychology, Lahabdil also agrees with this kind of understanding. Chazal did not see it that way. Chazal saw Morabu Masecha Hashem. Morabu in the sense of how variegated is the world, how diverse is the world, how motley, shall we say, is the world crew. Each one with their own distinct and very special characteristics. And in order for a person to develop himself, he has to recognize and really understand his own kishronos, his own talents. And that's something that's very critical. In order for a person to develop their self-esteem, they have to recognize they have kishronos that no one else has. They are unique. They are distinctive. They are individuals who are yichudi from every standpoint. And that's how Hashem created us. Each one has their own matbeah, as the Gemara says in Sanhedrin. Each one has their own coinage. And the matbeah of one is not compared to the other. On the other hand, we also have to understand that I'm part of Klav Yisrael. And therefore, when a person actually makes decisions, he has to make decisions based on two factors. One, his own factors, those that obviously are a function of his own persona, his own personality. On the other hand, he also has to think about Klav Yisrael at large. We know this mashal I heard from my Rebbe about Lichastin Zatzal a number of times, that an orchestra is made up of different, shall we say, musical instruments. And obviously different individuals who have expertise in different areas. There are violinists, there are pianists, there are drummers, there are those in the percussion, percussion section. If all the musicians had chosen the same path for themselves and all ended up in the string section, the strength of the orchestra will be greatly diminished. An orchestra, its godless consists of, as a uh, we well known mathematical principle, the whole consists of the sum of its parts. And therefore, all the parts individually have a role, but together, they now 
are able to produce a very wonderfully rich and uh, collective kind of musical ensemble that perhaps would not be possible by any individual is the collection, the tzira from them all, as Chazal say in a different context, called Pruta Pruta Mitzvah Rebbe Zachesh Ben Godel. Each Pruta comes together and becomes Zachesh Ben Godel. So my Rebbe pointed out that the Jewish world also is of a similar nature. Had the Radak been Rabbi Peretz, Rabbi Tam, then obviously the world would not have been any richer. The Radak wrote a Peretz and Tanakh. Radak was a great Tamachacham, tremendous Torah scholar. But his contribution to Kalal Yisrael ended up being in the area of Tanakh, and a contribution which is absolutely unparalleled. And Rabbi Peretz, one of the Balei Atosis, also a contribution that was also to a large extent, unparalleled. So, unquestionably, the Dali Yisrael, even though some of them specialize in Machshava, some of them specialize in Halacha, some of them specialize in Gemara, some of them specialized in Tanakh, they all were great Tamil Chachamim, all of them were great, great Torah scholars. But, they were able to find areas of individuality that are distinctive, that are unique, that are unparalleled in terms of their contribution to Klav Yisrael. And therefore, a person has to go ahead and, in effect, on the one hand, realize that he's part of Klal Yisrael, part of a whole. On the other hand, he has to find for himself his particular niche. He has to carve out where he can actually utilize the talents that Hashem Yisrael gave him, and this is embedded in this Pasuk. That the Torah says, Ish asher ki bechaso berach Yisrael. How did Yisrael become Yisrael? How did Klal Yisrael become Klal Yisrael? Because of Ish asher ki bechaso. So it's all of us together, welding all of our individual talents, and the sum total of these talents represents Klav Yisrael with all of its beauty and all of its splendor, and the orchestra that therefore emerges is an orchestra, a makela that sings to Hashem Yisbarach, that says, Shevach Vodot to Hashem Yisbarach, both because of their individual components, but primarily because the individual components have come together in a beautiful ensemble, in a beautiful musical orchestra, where as a result of all the Klav Yisrael devoting themselves with their own talents to Hashem is Barach, we can have literally an entire nation, an entire people who are of the Hashem, the aim over here.